Oh yeah, welcome back. Uh, quick video, short one this time. Just want to talk a little bit about ducting. Um, mainly this lovely stuff we call flexible ducting. Um, it's not brilliant, we try to stay away from it. There are regulations on how much you should be using depending on the fan system you're putting in there and the types of fans. Uh, so we need to try and keep this to a minimum. If it is being used, again, what you've got to try and avoid is things like this where it's peaks and troughs. What we get here, where it's peaking and troughing, you're creating extra resistance, you're creating dead spots with the airflow. So you end up with a build, build up of moisture, especially where it, it sort of troughs down like that. You end up with a build up of moisture in there, end up with a puddle of water, and that gets bigger and bigger over time. That in turn is reducing the internal diameter of the ducting because you're getting a puddle of water in there, adding extra resistance. The fan can't then cope with that, so it reduces the airflow of the fan. It's also not a good having a puddle of water sat there that's getting bigger and bigger over time. If that's sagging quite a bit, that's gonna get heavier and heavier. Eventually something's gonna to have to give, or you end up with several puddles of water along the ducting, and eventually that's gotta come back out somewhere. So if we can, we avoid it. If we are using it, it needs to be pulled taut, as fully taut as possible, and supported every 600 mil, which when you're running on joists is quite difficult. Um, what we want to be doing is ensuring that that's taut and supporting it on a regular basis. So your best bet there, rather than using this stuff, you know, if we can, as I say, there is time scenarios we appreciate, you do have to use it, but if we can, you know, we want to use rigid ducting. Nice, solid, rigid ducting, it's smooth on the inside. Uh, bear in mind here, this is ventilation duct, uh, it's not soil pipe, it is a different type of plastic and it's less resistive on the internal and the connections. So if we can utilise this, you know, it doesn't need supporting as regular every metre or either side of a connection. Um, you know, and it's not going to give you that resistance, you're going to cope with the airflow. Easy to cut, there's different ways of fixing it together. Again, we have a video on that, which you can look at later, just comparing the different types of connections we do and the pros and cons on them. But you see, that's a lot better to do. The only thing we've then got to look at, obviously most of the time ducked in when we're running wrong lengths like this, especially across joists and things, it's going to be in an unheated area, i.e. a loft space. If we're running ducked in, in a loft space, it needs to be insulated properly. Uh, again, there's regulations on this, so you know we need to be aware of what we're doing. Don't just run it in that and, and put something over it. It needs to be properly insulated. We do do a sleeve which goes over this. Another video on that one, if you want to watch it, just showing you how to put the sleeves on and talking through about insulated. We do do a, what we call a thermal duct, uh, self-sealed ducting, which clips together. It's already got the thermal properties for insulation, and that's ideal. Uh, or you can get um, insulated flexible ducting, which can be used, but again, we've got to be aware of that on the installation because it's, it's flexible, it needs to be pulled taut, kept to a minimum. However, that, you know, it is used in, in some scenarios. So they're the different ducting. Just be aware, obviously, as I said, in cold areas it needs insulating, but where we can, use this rigid stuff. It is a lot better than this flexible ducting. Flexible ducting can be up to seven times more resistive. So the air coming down here creates a friction that in turn creates resistance. That resistance, fans can't cope with it. You know, it's like trying to drag your feet along the sand. You know, the fan will struggle to cope with it, it can't move the airflow. So if we can use rigid ducting, it's less resistive, you're gonna get the performance you want and you're not gonna get any issues with moisture buildup as long as it's properly insulated as well where required. That's it on the ducting really, very brief, very quick, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.